y'all should put your macros in a very clear and easy to find place on your website, wherever your product is, so that I can, anyone can see it. If you're not doing that, it looks super shady, like you're trying to hide your macros because they're garbage. They may not be, they may be great, but if you hide them, it's sus. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to 7 Star Fitness. I'm Keegan, and today we're gonna to be doing a review of the Protein by Ballistic Labs Isolit. Yeah, it's, it's, it's Isolit, just like it kinda of sounds. It's, I think they're trying to sound super cool. It's a bit cringe, but we're just gonna go ahead and give them the pass on it. Um, point is, uh, this particular protein uh, comes to us from Ballistic Labs, uh, a company that started out in 2013. Uh, they're based out of Vancouver, as far as I know, so some local boys uh, to us here Canadians. Uh, and so they do a whole bunch of stuff that uh, is all uh, pretty standard, bog standard stuff, but there's some interesting stuff in there too. Uh, personally, I've actually tried their amino acid uh, supplement, their, basically their BC a supplement uh, and I mean I should uh, upfront about it I do not give two shits about a BCAA supplement I mean in terms of its effect on your health and your general athletic development it's just not gonna really be a huge difference one way or the other as long as you're having a well-constructed uh, diet around animal-based protein products uh, you're not gonna need a BCAA supplement or an EA supplement really uh, but nonetheless I use it to kind of be like juice, basically, a, a replacement for juice. So it's sugar-free and it provides the BCAAs, which, you know, not gonna hurt you in any way, shape, or form. But nonetheless, I tried their amino acid one and honestly, it tasted delicious. Uh, I think it was like a pina colada flavor and damn, it was good. So I gotta give it up to them on that end. I've also tried uh, their pre-workout, their stim-free sort of a pump formula. Uh, and I gotta say, again, delicious and two uh it, great pump uh, i'll have maybe i'll do a review on that at some point in time in the future i probably should have saved some and done a review for it um yeah, but I didn't. So we're just going to have to roll with it. Um, and uh, I've also kind of delved into some of their other products by Ballistic One, which I guess is sort of their uh, basic uh, supplement uh, line, which is like very like no flavors, just sort of base elements type thing. So like we're talking just straight beta alanine, straight creatine, straight glutamine, uh, straight creatine hydrochloride, straight uh, taurine, uh, straight citrulline malate, things like that. Um, these things come with no flavoring as far as I could tell um, and they're basically just supposed to be like just the product itself and, and nothing else. Very clean, very simple, very basic. Uh, and uh, through that I've also taken uh, a dive in on their Berberine supplement, their Berberine Super Cyclo, which again I can do a review on at some point in time but I'm sort of in the midst of trying it at this particular point so we'll get into that when the time comes. Uh, but yeah, they've been kind of putting out some stuff and uh, needless to say I've actually been pretty impressed with the overall quality of their products. Uh, so today we're gonna to be trying out their protein and uh, the flavor I chose was the uh, chocolate nut Funtella, which uh, I'm pretty sure is supposed to be a Nutella kind of flavor and I mean do I need to tell you why I chose the Nutella flavor like it's Nutella that kind of speaks for itself right Point being, that's the one we're going to be trying today in terms of flavor, uh, and uh, we're going to be doing it just the same way we always do it. So we're going to be testing this for taste, texture, mixability, and macros. So we're going to look at the whole range of those uh, various sections. I'm going to give it a score based on those things, and then kind of go with like an overall score, just kind of give you an idea as to where I'm sitting in terms of what I'm thinking, where I think it kind of sits in terms of the overall experience, and you guys can kind of get an idea as to you know what I think about it, and maybe make a decision yourself as to whether you want to try it or not. Now, now, the same rules apply as the last time. I'm going to be using uh, the old trusty shaker cup, one cup only of water, one scoop worth of uh, their protein, so one serving of their protein. I'm going to stick it in the old shaker cup, shake it for 20 seconds. I'll have phone going as a trusty timer. Uh, and then after 20 seconds, we're going to drink it. Now, I'm also going to have to take this bad boy because for those of you who don't already know, I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> You know, it's horrible. Milk, cheese, ice cream, the whole thing, yada, yada, yada. And for us fitness enthusiasts, all the proteins basically. But there are a number of them that are coming through that are lactose free. And I know all you people out there are talking, you know, dairy free, all the vegan supplements. You should try those and then do your face and just hope that's what you should live on. 
we we've already done the blessed protein review we i think you kind of know how i feel generally about the the sort of vegan world of protein but i digress we're gonna get back to this here uh so without further ado let's get to the actual uh mixing of this shall we Shaker cup has the top down. And we're going to start the timer. Now. seconds okay that got super thick it feels like really fast but maybe it's just my imagination down the hatch so we'll start with taste so like i said this is supposed to be the nutella flavor so when it comes to the flavor of the actual protein Chocolate comes through fine. I mean, chocolate's one of those things that like you can't really mess that up for the most part. Most companies don't find their way to messing that up. It's a bog standard across the board. If you mess that up, you've really, really messed up as a company uh, and you've messed up as a protein supplier. Um, but yeah, the chocolate comes through. Uh, as for the hazelnut flavor that you'd expect from the sort of Nutella or Funtella, I don't know what that is though. Um, it doesn't really come through as strongly as I'd want it to. Uh, I mean, I was kind of expecting that because, like, you want it to taste like Nutella, but you know deep down it's not going to taste like Nutella. Not exactly, anyways. Not to say it tastes bad. It's more like a chocolate with, like, a very back-end sort of nut flavor kind of going on. I would say I give this taste. I'm going to give this one... I'm gonna call it a three out of five. So taste, you're getting a three out of five. Not a bad score by any means, uh, but definitely room for improvement. I think that they could improve upon the uh, the sort of flavor going for the for the hazelnut. So like it actually hits the expectations, bring that more to the forefront, find some way to really amplify that some. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, otherwise I think they, it's not too sweet. So I feel like it doesn't come off too harsh on the sweeteners which is pretty good, and a lot of people would definitely jive with that. Uh, it's something a lot of people look for. Um, but yeah, I, I expect more of like a nut flavor coming through, and I'm not really getting that, so I feel like it's not really hitting the mark on that. So I, I'd say I'd pull back a little there, just because of the lack of nut flavor and the sort of lack of a sort of rich flavor that I would expect from a Nutella-type flavor, you know? Texture. This is where I was worried. When you, when I was shaking it, you could actually see my face and I was getting kind of worried. That's because as I was shaking it, it went from, I feel water and protein, like I can feel the powder kind of slowly, they're getting to know each other. And all of a sudden it was like, boom, sludgy. Like it had that thickness to it. Now, I am not a fan of that thickness. I don't like that in a protein shake. When it's too thick, I'm just not a fan. This is the reason I don't drink smoothies is because I just do not like thick drinks. They just don't, they don't jive with me. Um, I feel like this is a weird aside to almost mention like I have a whole other video about something else that's thick that someone drinks, Connor Murphy, for, for health benefits that are questionable. We're not caught, caught up in the corner, caught up in the corner. But nonetheless, uh, back to the topic at hand. Texture, kind of thick. Uh, not my favorite because of that thickness. Some people will jive with that, some people won't. But like mixed with water, I don't expect it to be this thick. I, I would expect it to be a lot, a lot thinner with a full cup of water. Yeah, there's a lot going on in there in terms of like texture. There's a lot of, there's a, if you feel like you're drinking something substantial, which is not something I actually want with like a single scoop of protein powder, especially an isolate. I expect it to go down pretty smooth like just just this side of water if, if you know what i mean like i should be able to chug it pretty easily and not really think about it whereas this i feel like not that i'm chewing it but that 
I have to do something to help it get down. Uh, and that's not my favorite thing in the world. I, I want to give this a better score because I like ballistic, but I can't. I'm, I'm going to be honest about it. I'm going to give this a two. It's not super thick. It's not so thick that like it's like, ugh, I can't drink this. But I definitely think that it's a little over the top in terms of what I would want out of the thickness for a protein powder. So mixability. There are no lumps. There's no lumps. There's no unmixed sections. There's no like nothing going on here that makes me think like this didn't mix properly it's all quite uniform so yeah i'd give them in terms of the mixability i'm gonna take the hit and say that, that that's probably my fault i know with some of these shaker cups i like there's a technique i usually try to employ i was trying to be a little bit more favorite going straight to the to the shake so it's likely a technique issue for that little section there at the top of the cup um so i'm gonna kind of disregard that call it just an error a technical error in mixing on my part um and you know what i'm gonna give them the five out of this one i mean for it to have mixed this smooth even if it is on the thick side of things again completely mixed there is no chunks at all and i've seen some proteins that i like more on the whole that actually mix with more chunks than this so you know what give them credit where credit's due you get your flowers on this one man i'm gonna give you the five on a five on that one so 20 seconds it was mixed perfectly well done guys i mean solid the last piece we got to look at is the macro split now the macros are where we're going to see probably the most interesting uh information mostly because we're gonna be able to see how it really stacks up to other proteins and you know get an idea as to how the the lifter and and, and fitness enthusiast would would find it in terms of its its value against other proteins which is super important so let's go through this bad boy and let's see what we can see huh so um one gram of fat which is great um, 0.5 grams saturated, two grams of carbs total, but you know, one gram being fiber, that's fantastic. 27, 27 grams of protein per 32 gram scoop, uh, that's pretty solid as well. Uh, and 15 milligrams of cholesterol, uh, 190 milligrams of sodium, 150 milligrams of potassium, 100 milligrams of calcium, one milligram of iron. That is pretty good, and they even have an amino acid profile down there, which, to be honest with you, I only care a little bit about, but not enough to go into bit by bit, because I don't think y'all care that much. If you do, comment, let me know. I'll be happy to go through it. We can talk about it and get some information about it, see what works, what doesn't, what we like, what we don't like. But honestly, going into the minutia there just doesn't seem to be that important. It doesn't seem to be super relevant. So, um, you know, getting down to the business here. Um, we got a pretty good macro breakdown. I, I like what I'm seeing. 27 grams of protein per scoop is solid. 32 gram scoop doesn't mean they're trying to cheat you on a gigantic scoop, making you think that it's gonna bring in more protein just because they're coming in at a higher scoop amount. And so it's pretty fair on that end. Two grams of carbohydrates, one gram being fiber. Fantastic, well done. Um, and uh, we've got one gram of uh, fat uh, and yeah. Half of that gram is uh, saturated, you know. Overall, 120 calories per scoop. This is gonna fit pretty well into a lot of people's macros quite easily. Uh, and yeah, pretty solid macros. So you know what? Uh, I'm gonna give you for the macros, I'm gonna give you, let's call it a four out of five. That's pretty good. I, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, that's pretty well done. Um, so it looks like we have a pretty good, uh, pretty good understanding as to what we're getting here. Um, as a side note, as I'm sort of sitting away from the protein a little bit more, the taste, I really do feel comfortable with a three out of five just because the sort of like, there's sort of like a back end aftertaste coming at me, probably from the sweetener that's sort of like hitting the back of my tongue. I'm not the biggest fan of it. It's not huge, not a deal breaker by any means, but I still notice it. Um, so if that's the kind of thing that you notice and that really grates on you, know that that's something that you might experience with this one. All right, so when we tally all the scores up, we got 14 out of 20. So about a B, B minus in that neighborhood. Uh, you know, I'm a, as a kind teacher would do, I'll bump you up to a B. That seems fair, um, but 70% nonetheless. Uh, maybe I'll just throw the 70% number up there. I feel like that's the most accurate thing. Um, so yeah, I think in this 
particular product, the things that I would really look to see improvements on in future iterations of their formula would be taste. Um, I really feel like, I mean, maybe it's just like this particular flavor doesn't jive with me. Maybe if I tried some of their other flavors, I'd find one that really works. Maybe their chocolate is on point. Just so you know, I am really a guy who just enjoys the chocolate flavor. I want to buy one protein that's going to be my protein over and over and over again throughout the week, throughout the month. It's going to be a chocolate flavor protein. So maybe if I just got the chocolate one, I would have a much more uh, pleasurable experience experience with it and it would hit the mark for me more um also the texture uh i too thick um i know one could say like mix less protein or put in more water but that's just where this is why we use one cup and one serving it, it, it keeps it super fair um but yeah i feel like we could have done a little bit better on that end too um so yeah that's where i'm sitting here um i think it's a pretty fair score too uh how do you feel about it? Have you tried uh, Ballistic Labs products before? Have you tried the Isolit? Uh, have you tried the uh, any of their other proteins, any of their products? Uh, what did you think about them? Comment below. Let me know uh, if you wanted to see me do uh, a review on another particular product that maybe they do or maybe another product that someone else does. Again, throw them in the comments. Let me know. You can also reach me uh, on Instagram, you know, DM me, or you can just write a comment underneath one of my posts. Uh, I'm happy to have conversations with you guys anywhere on social media, Facebook too. I'll put my uh, social media links in the description as well, just like I always do. Uh, and so you guys can reach me there, follow me there, join the galaxy. And of course, head down below the video, hit the like button if you found this informative, uh, you know, entertaining, if you found this useful to you in any way, shape or form, uh, and uh, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you can be notified of all of our future videos uh, and join the galaxy, you know, uh, all of us out here just doing our best to be our best selves every single day. Uh, and as always, make sure you stay shining because the galaxy can only be a bright and beautiful place if we all shine together. All right, peace.